So here's a story close to home. South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem is now banned from the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. So say if tribal president Frank Starr comes out, comes out of what? The closet? And he is saying this is due to the safety of the Awati. And effective immediately, she is hereby banished from the homeland of the Ogallala Sioux Tribe. Oh my God, how is Governor Nome going to live on? She's been banished from the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. Have you seen Pine Ridge lately? It's a dump. It's a ghetto. Oh, I heard that from somebody who's Native American. Thank you. Now, Starr comes out of the closet, made this statement after Nome vowed that she would send Razor Wire to Texas to secure the border. She has also noted that drug cartels who have infiltrated the border are flooding the reservations with illegal drugs, causing a spike in addiction and incarceration. But this has nothing to do with safety, as Frank Starr comes out, is claiming here. Frank Starr comes out of the closet. Now, he has posted a four-page letter on Facebook, which I'm sure he probably used dot matrix for that, blasting him for using the border crisis to get Trump reelected and V for a spot as his VP. Now, the irony here is that after years of saying that their land was stolen, and I happen to be part Cherokee Iroquois myself, he's going to bitch about protecting the border, that we're trying to protect the border. After saying for years that your land was stolen. Really? And he's believing that a lot of these people who are coming through the border are indigenous, that they're just looking for a better life. We ain't going to find it at Pine Ridge because Pine Ridge has one of the highest rates of mortality, alcoholism, addiction, malnutrition, diabetes, suicide, depression, you name it. And it's the eighth largest reservation in the United States. One of the worst things that the United States did, the federal government did, was come up with this reservation system. They need to get rid of it. Get rid of it, let these people rule themselves. Not give them all these handouts. Now, Starr comes out of the closet, also criticized Governor Nome for her comments about these ghost dancers who are affiliated with the cartels. During her State of the State address, she called the Mexican drug cartels the 50 states' most common enemy, and they are waging war in our backyard. Nome has been a great governor. I'm not a Republican, I'm not a Democrat, but she's been a great governor. Now, in responding to Star Comes Out of the Closet, said it's unfortunate he wants to bring politics into the mix, that having a stiff arm doesn't bring any solutions to the table. So, Mr. Frank Starr comes out of the closet. What's the deal, dude? What's the deal? Maybe you need to look at your own backyard before you start bitching about the border. Take care of your own problems. If my native ancestors were alive today, they would have his hide. They would beat his ass with a stick. If you acted like this when I was growing up, they wouldn't tolerate this. So I thought I'd share this with you. South Dakota Governor Christy Nome, now banned, banished from the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. How are we going to ever survive? Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. You can also follow me at Instagram, hashtag Jason Composes because I write music in my spare time. Or you can find me at X, Culture Confederacy, at Culture Confed 1 on X. This is the Culture Confederacy saying peace out, stay safe, everybody. God bless this thing called the United States. And you know how we do it here. This is where the past crashes with the present. I'll catch you next time, and you all have a great Sunday.